you know that song. Uh, the first few bars, anybody who knows Dallas knows that song. Then there's this one. Oh. Sounds a little similar too. Well, hello and welcome to the Dallas After Show. I am James Law Jr. And that first one, of course, was the Dallas theme song. And the second one was the original Knott's Landing theme song. Yes, they updated versions of them later, but basically those are the same basic uh, beats and melodies. I'm James Law Jr. And I was thinking, I got to do this podcast for General, for, for General Hospital podcast too, but for Dallas. And I was thinking about the iconic music. Um, the theme song is very recognizable. So before we get into that, as you know, the... Uh, the opening credits were the famous three split screen. A lot of times the two in the ends would freeze and the middle one was still. So the famous one of, of uh, Victoria Principal walking as Pam and she's in that tight shirt. Uh, I know that one. Um, but it was a split screen three uh, when they played the credits, alphabetical order. They always did that. Um, and so that's iconic enough. Uh, but the song, when you hear that song, I don't know folks who didn't even watch Dallas regularly, but have heard of the song. It's fascinating to me. I'm a person, I'm a songwriter composer myself, and I have a few songs people know, but like for something on this scale, I mean, the Dallas theme is very, very, very iconic and just as popular as the show itself. And I always wonder how that happens. I know it's probably a confluence of several things come together that make, I mean, Dallas was such a hit, first of all, I mean, it was a huge worldwide hit. So I guess, but still, the thing, here's the thing, it has no lyrics. Like, MASH, for us older people, MASH didn't have lyrics. Very recognizable theme song. Um, compared to like a Friends, or Mary Tyler Moore, Moore Show, or, or Cheers, where there are lyrics. So you know that's, that's, that's from that show. Um, this is extremely just plain old instrumental, very disco even when it first came out. So I was like, mm, mm, so I was like the, 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 the uh, drums and everything, it was very disco-y. It did come out in the 70s, late 70s. Um, but for whatever reason, this, and you can tell me, please, I love, I love to hear your thoughts. It's, it's become this iconic thing. It's very iconic. You, it's, it's, it's as iconic as South Fork, itself, um, Dallas to show itself. It was written, I'm gonna sure I say his name correctly. I hope I'm saying it right. Gerald Immel, I-M-M-E-L. He wrote the Dallas theme and the Knott's Landing theme, ironically. Um, that's why Knott's Landing theme sounds very similar in some ways. Um, it's a much more jazzy laid back version of the Dallas one, which is much more upbeat and fast and the horns, and everything's coming at you. Uh, but Gerald wrote for, did music for Gunsmoke, Logan's run other places too. But he did Dallas 78. Um, it just, it fits the show. You know, Dallas, you would think, here's something to think about. Dallas, you think country, right? So it wasn't a country music sounding theme. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? When I said about, you know, 40 years later, I'm going, yeah, it wasn't like that because I know later when they did, they had some country music for the Dallas show. And I think Crystal Gale did a song with it. That's more country-esque to do with that direction. But in terms of a theme song for a soap, a nighttime soap set in Dallas, it's actually kind of a dance pop tune. Very, you're right, very, I just thought it was very interesting. I just thought that before. Um, now, what's interesting is they had updated, little slightly updated versions as time went on, but basically it was the same melody the whole time. But on the new series, they did something brilliant that I thought was so respectful and beautiful uh, the episode of JR's funeral, they opened the show with a slow down version of the opening. It was beautiful, the slow down, just kind of just it was like it, it set the tone for the episode, which music can do. Um, and it with this at first they had the silhouette of JR and it with his face, and that was that's what and that's what it, that was it. It wasn't the huge explosive opening they normally did. They, it was almost like, here's the respect of Larry Hagman, the J.R. Ewing, the character. Um, it, 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 you almost started crying watching the opening. Like they even got to the, they even got to the first frames of the first episode of that. Um, but it really set the tone. 
Um, and Dallas just, I mean, the theme song, Gerald Immel, they just did such a great, um, great job. I was trying to see any other notes on that. That's the only notes I have on that. Um, but I am curious what you guys think at home. I mean, what do you think of the, you know, theme songs are sometimes just as important. Music is important to series. Dallas had great music throughout their episodes that would convey the emotions of the episode, the scenes. Uh, so that's just very important anyway, period. It's very important. But I was wondering how you think about the theme song. Do you know, do you have a feeling of why you think it might be popular and why it, it resonates still to this day? Like literally, you can play the opening notes of this theme song now and fans just, they know what it is. They can name it in two notes. You know, you know you can. So that's kind of, I just, I just wanted to mention that. Something I said, it's like something I was thinking about when I was, you know, I do the show every, which I do the show every week. And I taught different things about the show, but this was like, the music is very important. And this, and the theme song is very, very important. The Dallas After Show is on JLJ Media. We're here, subscribe here on YouTube, or if you're listening to it, hello podcast listeners. We're on all streaming services, from iHeartRadio to Spotify to Apple, Google, all those. Hit the follow button or like button or subscribe button and listen to my other episodes. And I have more coming, of course, uh, of uh, Dallas. I love my favorite shows of all time. Thank you for listening. Thank you to all the Dallas Facebook groups that let me share this on their pages. And we'll see you next time.